it's Chloe DeMere of Save the Victory Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing. I hope, yes, I have a pair of sunglasses on because I forgot to shoot the intro first, so I'm shooting it last. We are doing a collab with um, Makeup Therapy and a whack of other ladies, including my love, the Wilma Fingerdew, and uh, the names will be on screen, photos, so you will know who I'm doing a collab with and links to their pages below. But we are playing with the St. Angel Singles palette. So if you want to see the look that's behind my glasses and um, yeah, about this collab, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Okay, this is going to be fun, I think. Um, it's been a while since I've done anything collabby, and this is going to be with a whack of ladies. I will try and remember to pop all the photos up and then it'll probably be part of my thumbnail and I will try and list all their Instagrams and YouTubes in the description box as well. Um, but this is the brainchild of um, Makeup Therapy and she is my real life name twin and uh, we are going to be playing with a fairy tale, Saint Angel Sinners Cosmetics and a Fairy Light, which is um, Sophia Sadie. And we're going to do a fall look because it's starting to be my favorite season, which is fall. To me, um, as soon as Canada Day is over, it's fall. <laughs> but uh, this is the palette here as a refresher. So we have got some nice green shades, some bright shades, um, like dark brown, black. Like this is good. Like you can do, some, again, some nice springy looks and you can definitely do some fall looks with this palette. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to try not to use any other palette because I mean, we've got the dark, we've got the light, we've got whatever, and uh, trying to see if I can think of something autumn themed. Um, but I'm just really excited to play with this palette again. I do like to use this palette a lot. It is really good. I do have a Saint Angels Sinners deep dive coming soon. So we'll just go through all the palettes that I have because I've managed to inherit a whack of palettes. Plus I had gotten this one in PR from the lovely Darcy. And uh, yeah, so we'll just go over um, a little bit of the history of the brand and some of the palettes and do some looks on her face, you know, just have a lot of fun. But for today, we are on the theme that is fall. So I'm going to now make sure I've got no um, mascara on my face. And then we are going to play with some white primer here. Um, Cause I don't know what shades I'm going to do in here. I've done a pink look in here and I've done a green look, but I don't think I've, yeah, I don't think I've played with this beautiful green and this is kind of on my mind. So that could be the ticket. But I thought in the meantime, let's throw on some eye primer and then I can ruminate a bit as to what I want to think as fall. Now I knew this was coming for a while and had I been a little bit of smart or smart, I would have got some kind of stencils or something to play with. But the only ones that I have that are kind of Halloween, I think Halloween themed are bigger stencil. So I don't know, maybe we'll put something cute on with our highlighter or we can um, save that for Halloween because I'm going to do some Halloween looks because I need to play with my beautiful Halloween palettes. And, uh, and just because there's some new ones, some not new ones, we should be able to get to play with them. Well, don't have to play them just in October, but since it is October, it is time to break out all the spooky palettes. Okay, so I think to start and then because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do the rest of my base. So we are going to play with this first. Um, so I'm going to take the black in here, right to there. Um, these do all have names and this one is Leo. So we're going to do Leo. So that is the black there. All right, here is this beautiful black. When it comes to blacks, indie brands have it made. I mean, for me, fall is black, green, red, kind of jewel tones are things that usually remind me of, of fall in general, oranges, um, pumpkin -y shades. Went and got myself, uh, my, uh, my best friend was over for the weekend and we went and 
found all the fall things and I've got some pumpkin spice Cheerios. They're quite delicious. So there we go. I've got some black placed. I'm wondering if I should, I haven't done a, I've been doing a rounded look, so I'm wondering if I should wing this out. Because I think I might want to do that. So let's do, so I'm going to keep this one out and then I'm going to go and get um, a brush here that I can do a bit of a wing with. And we're going to again go back into Leo. There we go, kind of my, my favorite little almost devil horn wings. Uh, yeah, there's also um, Wilma Fingerdo is also part of this collab. Um, Erica Conger, um, not your basic stuff. There's quite a few people that are just going to do this collab. We're also big fan fans of SAS, St. Angel Center, so and I think the majority of us have this palette, so that you can see all the different looks so we're all posting these at the same day which is going to be september 23rd and it is at 10 p.m uk time which is 2 p.m in the afternoon my time and then i'm going to i'm doing stuff with friends that day so i will probably have to watch them in the evening when i come home but I will definitely watch everybody's videos because I'm curious to see um, what looks everybody does. If we've got anybody that does anything s similar, I doubt it. They've all got, all the people um, have definitely more experience than I do in doing crazy looks, but I am happy to take part and to play with a palette that I really like, with a brand I really like. Here we go, yes. Yeah, I've been missing having wings. Um, St. Angel Sinners and Gourmand Girls seem to have my favorite blacks. Especially now that I'm getting comfortable with using blacks. I know, right? Okay. So, like I said, I really I was at first thinking that I wanted to go really grungy in fall, but I do want to add some brightness, and I think that green is so Pretty, so I think we're definitely gonna have to use that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with the flower nymph. Let's find ourselves another brush. And uh, oh, let's play with my cosmic brushes. I have exactly one cosmic brush brush. So let's play with it. Let's do that there. Other than an autumn theme, fall theme, I don't think. I don't remember any other further instructions, so if I'm doing this wrong, I apologize, ladies. Here we go. Ooh, this is such a nice green. Goodness. Who doesn't like a grungy, kind of like army green? I, a, I think I have a hoodie in this color. I might want to add something closer to my brow after as well, so we can maybe play with a few more colors. Because I'm keeping this very close to just on the mobile lid, which has generally been my favorite, not taking it too far up. So yeah, so now as fall is starting, all our markets are getting ready to finish for the season. And now it's all about pumpkin-y things, Halloween stuff. Oh my gosh, Halloween stuff absolutely everywhere. I have been buying so much, I am so bad. I just love Halloween so much. I really need to cease and desist. I knew this was the month that was going to be a problem for me. September, October, because of all the um, Halloween and fall things. When everything is ready for Halloween, when I do a video, I'm going to stick my background up and then I might, maybe I can put up a little video of all the little vignettes of Halloween that I have going. So there we go. There is that beautiful, dark, grungy green right there. So I am going to want a little bit of a base for that. Oh, that kind of gray is pretty too. This whole palette is beautiful. I definitely, um, when I've got, you know, when you've got new stuff and different ideas rum ruminating around in your brain of things to do, and you know how much I love a mystery box, that sometimes I don't get to play as much as I want to with some other palettes. And yes, I need to, um, just have some days where I just play. So this is the shade Aphrodite. So this is the light green. I'm just gonna put that down at the front just to kind of be a little bit of a base because I'm going to use a spray for the shimmer. 
but I always like a little bit of color um, underneath my shimmers. So, and then this is just like a nice matte pale green. So are you fans of Halloween too? What are your favorite things about fall, Halloween? Um, are you um, team pumpkin spice or team not pumpkin spice? Okay, so there we go. So now I want to play with that that green that I've been desperate to play with and I've just not really had a chance to because uh, I think I just did pinks and the light greens before. So we're going to take the shade Rising. So that is this beautiful one here. It has some beautiful shifts. When it's sitting down, it's like an emerald green. So it makes me kind of think um, I'm St. Patrick's Day kind of. <laughs> So beautiful. Let's give it a little spray. All right. Uh oh, look how beautiful that is. I cannot resist a green. I like every shade of green. Yeah, that is so beautiful. Look at my eye. Makes me want to put it all over my eyeball. Okay, so of course, always with the flange, just to get a little bit extra in luck, and then you can really see how silky and shimmery they are and how they reflect yeah these these ones um, go on um, beautifully with a brush or with a finger but they are very nice to touch so I think it's an excuse to put my fingers in them because it's just so smooth and satisfying there we go there is our autumn look so um, if I was going to have an inspiration, so I was originally had this been a different palette, a different color story palette. Um, my, my bedding right now is all orange, black, and white uh, with spooky cats, but it doesn't go for this. But for me, just like I said, grungy greens um, scream fall to me and so do oranges I really do like oranges for fall as well let's just quickly do our bottom lash line and then I'm going to consider what I want to do because I think I should do something just kind of along the top here in another color just to add some more fun to this but for now let's go back into Leo that was the black okay and then just on the inner oh I got a little bit there we will go back into that forest nymph, and we're going to do that as the mat along the top, or top, or front, I guess. Now for the inner corner, I think we need something pretty bright. So this pink one has some green shifts in there, so I think you know that is so pretty. Let's pop that into our inner corner. There we go. That's a nice shiver there. Yeah, this definitely has a nice bit of green reflect in there too. See? Okay. Now, I'm thinking we should bring something up on top. So what else could we play with? And then I'm going to go into, let's go into that gray shade. So we've got like a gray purple, a grayish. So that's a sugar plum there. So we're going to go into that. Kind of eye in that color. And then add a little swoop there. I think I have an idea. And then on the other side, let's repeat. Yeah, I think I will do the same on the other side. I'll get those two to meet. Alrighty, so then I just did a little swoop of that kind of purpley gray. And then in the empty spot there, Let's go into the lightest green in here, and that is called Starlight. So we are going to go into Starlight, and then we're going to pop that in, in the void there. I'm just going to clean off the same brush because it is nice and pointy, angly. It's such a beautiful green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that looks great. I like that. All right, so let's do that on the other side. Okay, I think it 
just needs a smidge more on the other side there. I'm going to give it a spray so I don't just I'm losing a little bit <laughs> there. So I just want to. This is um, the spray that's in here is um, mint chocolate chip smell. So that's another thing that weirdly always reminds me of winter and fall. It's mint chocolate chip. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, so I'm going to go, because I got a little bit of green on it, I'm going to go back into Leo, maybe on the other side too, just to add some intensity back in. Yeah, I like that. Really, You can really see it here. How bright that green is. Okay, so I'm going to go put on my base, and then maybe, because I do have some other St. Angels Sinners palettes, maybe I can find something that would make a nice highlight, possibly even a blush. So we will be back. Okay, we're back, and I just continued on with the green theme, as we can see here. I used a little bit of the Melt Lipstick from the Beetlejuice collection from a few years ago added a little bit of this bluish um, green shade called is it a vegan agenda from Trixie Cosmetics as the gloss over top put a little extra black liner in the waterline some mascara and then of course my base but I thought we could try and play with some more St. Angel Sinners to do a little bit of highlight and a little bit of blush so I thought for the blush we were going to dip into the um a fairy's tail because that's what we are doing and then we're just going to use this shade down here and this is the one called soulmate so we're going to take soulmate and we're going to use that as a blush so I'm just going to dip in with my little brush here there you go get a little tap and then we are going to use this for our blush I'm really liking this eye look and I'm glad we went with that pointed shape so there we go give ourselves a really red nose why not so there we go. And then we're gonna play with a little bit for highlighter. So I'm thinking I'm going to go into the a Funny Butter palette. So it was another collab, St. Angel Center's Funny Butter. And it is all shiny, beautiful highlighters or um, top eye toppers. You can use them both. So I thought maybe we can just take this lightest shade in the center. Yeah, I'm gonna do the center one. Let's just test this out as a highlighter. That is so pretty, glittery, shiny. You know, I like to be seen from space. There we go. Yeah, I know I got a pink nose, but that's okay. Um, so there we go. Here's a fairy tale, St. Angel Center's Cosmetics X Fairy Light doing a fall inspired look or which fall always means to me Halloween but here we go and I love greens so this is our look all right ladies I hope uh, um, I didn't um, disappoint with my look because you're all so talented so I'm excited to see everybody else's videos so if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still do collabs with other people and play with St. Angel Sinners. As always, behave, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.